Hi traders, thanks for stopping by the tradinganalyst.com. This is Taylor and we're going to take a look at some charts here and I'm going to give my analysis and my thought process and you're going to walk away from this video with some newfound knowledge on technical analysis as well as hopefully some profitable trade ideas based off of this free analysis video we're about to give you right now. But first, if you're not already a member at the tradinganalyst.com, give us a visit on the homepage of the website and get to know us a little bit better. If you like these free videos and analysis we give to you on a daily basis, it's nothing in comparison to the membership you get when you sign up and join the premium membership. As soon as you sign up and join the premium membership community, you're going to get instant access to the profitable trade alerts that our current members are getting on a daily basis. It's a great opportunity for you to improve your trading and to start making winning trades in the market. All right, so let's take a look at this chart here. The first one we're going to cover is Chipotle. And I want to call, uh, cover something right here is we had this big move higher right here. But as you can see, look at this topping tail right here. Okay, this is not a very bullish candle right there. All right, so we've got that rejection point and it's just very simple uh, resistance point. Okay, that's really all it is. We've got this resistance from here there these resistance points so we came up here we filled this gap right here and then we got rejected right there okay now you got to look at the longer term view here on chipotle and it's just a crap stock okay um, it's been heading lower i'll go to the weekly time frame so you can really see it so just look in the last uh two years here two years well two and mm, two and a half years really uh, we've been going straight down from 750 uh, all the way down to you know 270 okay so you got to really pay attention to those uh the major chart here and that you know there's got to be a reason that it's been declining for this long and also as you can see all these pops have been sold into so here's a little pop here at the beginning of 2016 okay and it just got sold off into boom here we have a little pop uh, that happened near the end of 2016 17 here it gets sold off boom big time so got to kind of ex expect that moving forward for chipotle so this is a big time level of resistance obviously we'll be singing a different tune if we end up breaking over about 340 um, but until it does that um, this is major resistance um, for this stock now the next one we're going to take a look at is agn and if you uh, watched our biotech video you know that we like uh, we have liked biotechs for um, along here for um, uh, since last week, and we've been doing really good on that. Uh, if you follow those videos, you know that we called for the breakout, and we're getting that breakout right now. And in fact, we think it's going to continue. So, with that said, I wanted to touch on my favorite uh, biotech uh, stock within IBB, and that's AGN here. And I'll go over exactly why. So, we're going to cover the weekly chart here. And here's the weekly chart uh, going back, you know, to the end of 2014. You can see we have this lower channel line started here, bounced directly off of it right here. Here's a bounce directly off of it right here. And here we are uh, reacting to that level. Uh, look at uh, last week we had a hammer, all right? Had a hammer right off of it, okay? And then this week we're already making higher highs than last week somewhat confirming obviously the week hasn't closed just yet but as of right now we're confirming that this hammer um, is getting a bounce right there and if you notice too if you look on the weekly chart look at all the other times uh, that we've gotten a bounce so here's a bounce here where was rsi down here at 30. here's the bounce where was rsi down here at 30. here's that bounce we saw where was rsi down here at 30. uh you know here right there same thing rsi down here at 30 and look at where rsi is down here for um agn so um obviously you know the, these bounces are in within a downtrend um meaning you know we get a bounce here but then we get sold off here but you know you can make some really nice trades on the upside in a downtrend so um i do think that we're going to get a nice bounce on agn and I'll go over another reason too 
and this is a really really this is something you really need to pay attention to and it's called a false breakdown okay there's false breakouts which are to the upside and they break to the downside and then false breakdowns are when you break down okay and then you break back up above that uh, resistance level so here's exactly what I'm talking about so we had this support level right here at about 170 okay you can clearly see it right there right there all right we break that support right here two days in a row right here and then look at this we get this hammer candle right here on heavy volume and you gotta think that this is buying volume because why do we know it was buying volume because we had a hammer here heavy volume and then the next day it got a bounce and then we've held these levels okay if this was selling volume all right then we would have had a red day the next day and it would this hammer candle wouldn't have gotten confirmed all right not only that but we broke back above that support so it turned into resistance all right and then we're back right back above that level okay that is very this is one of the most bullish things um, that you can look for um, and you know vice versa if there's a false breakout it's one of the most bearish things it's very it's not only uh, one of the most accurate patterns um, but well I don't like to call it a pattern because it's not really a pattern it's a setup okay um, not only is it one of the more accurate um, setups here but it's also one of the more um, uh, has the biggest move after it okay I'm losing my train of thought here <laughs> but but bear with me so it has big implications okay uh, very very accurate and you see big moves come from them so today was day one okay today was day one that was the confirmation that this was indeed a false breakdown okay if it breaks down you know I get a lot of comments you know I got a comment here last week on some other stock where it broke support and someone said oh it's a false breakdown you don't know it's a false breakdown until it does this okay that's what makes it false breakdown otherwise you're just making stuff up okay so right here this is a false breakdown confirmed today okay confirmed today we also closed above the 20-day moving average all right that's another uh, thing that you really want to look for all right closed above the 20-day moving average or a side back around above 50 false breakdown I think that AGN can get uh, pretty explosive from here first target would be um, 85 but honestly I think it can get uh, move even even more than that so looking for a bounce here on AGN the next one we're going to take a look at is Alibaba and Alibaba I want to point out a couple of things okay you can see right here we have a huge pattern that uh, Baba broke out of so here's that trend line started here beginning of 2017 you can see how many bounces we have off of this trend line look at that so many bounces there um, got another bounce here right here off of it and then we broke it right here and then if you notice we're kind of coming up to retest it we haven't quite retested the trend line but what we did retest is if you draw a Fibonacci retracement level from these highs to these lows right here the high of today pretty much you know missed it by a penny or two um, is the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level from the highs here to the lows here all right so another thing too is we've got this volume point of control right here that we ran into as well so here we are right in there at that volume point of control right around uh, you know 180 179 okay so also the 50-day moving average and the 20-day moving average all above us also the trend line is above us so we've got a lot of work to do here for um, Alibaba and um, we got to break over uh, 180 for me to kind of consider this well actually we have to break back over this trend line here to kind of make this um, an invalid short setup okay so right here is where Baba needs to prove itself because we're right here at the Fibonacci retracement level, the 61.8, the 50-day moving average, the 20-day moving average, the volume point of control, and everything else that I've mentioned here. So 
key level here for Alibaba that you really want to uh, hone into um, if you're trading or investing in this stock. The next one we're going to take a look at is Twitter. Twitter bounced exactly where it had to. Um, and what do I mean by that? Well, we had this big time uh, previous resistance level right there, right here. And as you can see, we're kind of playing with it right here. Also, this trend line right here, this trend line started here. There's a bounce. Here we are. We needed to bounce here, and that's exactly what happened. So we not only did that, but we have some pretty pretty fierce candles here. This is a nice breakout candle here, very strong. Um, and I think that if we get some kind of a dip into about 21.15 or so, uh, kind of near the open of today, I think that'll probably be a good buying opportunity as I think this stock is probably going to break out some more here. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention too is uh, it's also uh, the volume point of control here. If you go back about six months, it's the volume point of control right there, which is where we bounced at. So we came into the volume point of control, bounced. It did exactly what it should have um, on Twitter. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is Tesla. Tesla here. Uh, I am expecting some higher prices on this stock. Uh, why do I say that? Well, a couple of reasons. We broke over this downtrend line, started here, a couple of rejections there, hit it dead on there. Here's a hit, here's a hit, and then we kind of broke over it. Uh, last trading session on Friday, uh, and then officially broke over it really today. And we did so with some pretty decent volume as well. Not only that, but we have a squeeze breakout play right here. Um, where we broke over, uh, broke out of this very tight Bollinger Band uh, range. And what does that mean? Well, it just means it's been trading sideways here for a little while. And I can just draw a little box there um, so you can see that even more clearly. So trading sideways um, for a little while uh, creates a, an energy buildup. Okay, same kind of thing that we saw. Let me just delete that. Uh, the same th kind of thing that we saw right here. You can see traded sideways right here. Big move down after that. Kind of expecting the same kind of thing. So if it retests about 322.50 or so, to me that's going to be a good buying opportunity. we got a lot of resistance above us to deal with though. So just got to kind of be aware of that. Um, we've got resistance right here from this previous support. Right there, right there. Finally we broke through it right here. But that level is right around 335. Next resistance, which is the biggest resistance, um, is right here at about 360. It's based off of this resistance uh, previously that we saw on Tesla. So I definitely think we can break higher here on Tesla. Um, just pay attention to these resistance levels that are overhead. Uh, next one we're going to take a look at is Apple. Apple is another one that I think can head higher from here. Um, what we want to focus on is uh, we broke over this downtrend line. Okay, this is a very short term downtrend line. Started here, got a couple hits there, here, 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 this day. Finally, we broke over it. We not only broke over that, but it was previous resistance right there, right there. Uh, and then we have uh, a nice little volume pop too. You can see that volume was declining while we're trading sideways and then boom we see this breakout um, in volume as we break over this uh, resistance here i think that a retest of you know maybe 171 approximately is probably going to be a good long entry we're probably going to retest all-time highs maybe break them who knows um, but for now uh, just targeting you know near about 176 or so in the near term for apple so thank you for stopping by and watching this video, everyone. I really hope that you learn a lot from watching this video because that's why we make these videos so that you can learn and get better as a trader. If you want to learn even more and get even better as a trader, then sign up for the premium membership community. As soon as you sign up and join the premium membership community, you're going to get instant access to the profitable trade alerts that our current members are getting and loving on a daily and weekly basis. It's a great opportunity for you to get better as a trader and to start making winning trades in the market.